I'm already regretting it. There's so many things in here. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is going to be me trying to build my own <laughs> chest of drawers for this room. Um, I need something from a makeup and bits and bobs and just to organise it because my room is starting to get very messy because I'm buying too much. So yeah, it does say easy self-assembly. It is me we're talking to. So yeah, I got this from B&M, this set of drawers. I don't really want to lift it because it is heavy. So yeah, this is what they look like. Um, this was only £35 from B&M. I was literally going to get the drawers from Ikea, which I do love. I really like them. I'll probably get them for when we transform our outbuilding. But I've seen these for £35 and I just thought... £35, I'm gonna get them. So they're from B&M and I think they're really, really nice. So I hope you enjoy this video of me trying to build myself a chest of drawers. I'm just gonna get on with it. Let's go. <coughs> oh my god, it's so heavy. Oh, I need to open it, didn't I? and they are numbered so that's good. I just want my instructions to be honest to see how easy it is or hard. I'm already regretting it there's so many things in here. My plan was to build this downstairs in the living room but I don't think I'm able to carry it upstairs but now I'm thinking I have hardly any space at all in here so I don't know what's going to happen with this. Let's try. I'm going to shut my window because, like, I think people are going to think I'm crazy talking to myself. Don't excuse my get up. I'm literally in the most comfiest ever outfit. Right, here's my instructions. Got them. One, two. Right. Okay, what my one and two? It's easy. I know what my one and two are. And I just have to attach the drawer runners. because it's got like a little magnet on it so it can't drop it so it's brilliant right so i've done the drawer runners Yay. i'm now moving on to step two and I now have to find two number fives and one number four. These are for the plinths, I think. But I'm a bit scared for this one because in the diagram, oh shit, in the diagram, it looks to be standing up. I have no helping hands. I don't know how I'm gonna stand it up. But um, I'm sure it'll be fine. So let me find these numbers first. So two number fives and one number four. I need 12 F's and 12 G's. So let me find them. and put the plinths on so that's really good so I'm moving on to step three now which I now have to find number three this is going to be for the top panel so yeah number three that should be quite easy to find because it's probably really heavy actually it's probably this one number three yay um let's go 
chunk. Let me check. So I need four times A parts and four times B screw cap things. Okay, A, four, one, two, three, and four, and four of these bad boys. Now I will admit, I actually built a toilet roll cabinet the other day to kind of prep me for this. I've got a picture just here for you. And these had to go on at these little screws and it kept falling off and I didn't know why, I didn't understand. I just placed it into a little hole. But then I realised you actually have to turn them to secure them. But I know that now, so it shouldn't annoy me this time. It's just a learning curve, isn't it? So one, two, three, four. So where do these go? Has done. Why well, I'm gonna say is I'm glad I've not got nails on today because I don't think I'd be able to do this with nails. Okay, so step four. What? Hinge. What? I don't understand. Okay, so I don't understand this bit. Like, so I understand this, but it's time to screw in, but there's no holes to screw into these. What? Oh, I need a hammer. So I've had to run and get a hammer for this bit. So there's a slight possibility I'm going to be in any later. So wish me luck. I did it. I hammered it in. No injuries. Happy friggin' days. Next step. Let's go. Right. My next step is step five. Oh, I'm gonna have to put the drawers together now. Okay, so step number five, it's I think now I'm gonna start doing the drawers. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. Um, once you've done one, it should be easy to do the rest. So I need parts seven, six, and eight, and, and nine, four times G screws. Let's start putting them together, shall we? Here we go. So I managed to build the drawers up. Um, one, two, three, four, five. To be honest, I actually forgot I was filming a video, so I had to quickly press record again. Okay, so I'm now on to step seven. <laughs> I'm almost finished. Um, step seven, so what? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm on step six. So now I'm going to be attaching the drawer fronts and the handle to the drawers. Done my last drawer. I'm on to the like final step of obviously the final final step is pushing the drawers in, but I'm on to the final step of attaching the drawer runners to the uh, drawer so obviously it can roll in to the cabinet. So yeah, I think I'm good now. So I'm gonna attach these and then I shall show you the finished product. Yay! Let's go. So yeah, I've got um I'm starting to get like blisters on my hand for using the screwdriver so much, but yeah, 
I'm just glad to get these up finally and I'm so glad that I've done it myself like my smile just says oh I'm super chuffed with myself and they look good I must say but I shall show you the finished product at the end so I'm going to attach these now so I finally finished it um I've definitely got blisters coming on my hand now they're like super sore so I'm just going to show you the chest of drawers um which I'm actually really happy about so I'm going to turn the camera around and show you Okay, so I've done this for now. I've obviously decorated it. So um, I got this the other day from B&M also. I really like this. I bought this a few months ago. Um, obviously, you all know my name is Danielle because that's what I say, but my channel name is Nelly, um, which is a bit personal to me. So just for the background of my videos, I thought it would be really nice to get this in. And it lights up as well. I've just not got batteries for it yet. And I am going to get a nice little like pot plant here. But I've not got that yet because I've not found the right one. So I'm just going to like obviously keep my perfumes there for now. But yeah, this is a chest of drawers. Obviously, it was only £35. I think they look really good. There is like, don't get me wrong, some little bits of damage and flaking. And obviously, you'll notice that there's a bit of like some wonky gaps just like that. But that's because like the drawer runners like in there aren't literally level. Um, you've got stuff like this happening. But again, <laughs> for £35, cosmetic damage is not a massive thing for me. Obviously, you start seeing things like that. But that's most likely my fault. I've probably been too rough with that. But that's fine. Nobody comes in to look at damage. Um, I love this little thing. It's my favourite. But yeah finally got them up super happy with myself so you should now be seeing this in the background of my videos so see you later bye